these deductions we get. <laughs> well, it's amazing. Well, it's absolutely amazing, but, but under the right circumstances, a uh, producer could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. Why, well, yes, it's quite possible. If he knew the show would fail, a man could make a fortune. Yes. Well, yes what? Yes, what you were just saying. <coughs> what was I saying? You were saying that under the right circumstances, a producer could make more money from a flop than a hit. Oh, well, well yes, it, it's quite possible. <laughs> you keep saying that, but you don't say how. <laughs> oh, uh, well, it's simply a matter of creative accounting. Uh, well, let's assume for the moment that you are a dishonest man. Assume away. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, when you produced your last show, Funny Boy, you raised $2,000 more than you needed. But you could have raised a million, put on your $100,000 flop, and kept the rest. But what if my show was a hit? Oh, well, then you would go to jail. <laughs> you see, instead of 100% of your show, you would have sold more than 1,000%. So if the show's a success, there's no way to pay off the backers. You get it? Got it. So, in order for our scheme to work, we'd have to find a surefire flop. Our scheme? What scheme? Your scheme, you bloody little genius. Uh, I meant no scheme. I merely posed a little academic accounting theory. It was just a thought. The whole worlds are turned on such thoughts. Bloom. Glorious Bloom. Darling Bloom. Don't you see? It's simple. Step one, we find the worst play ever written. Step two, we hire the worst director in town. Step three, I raise two million dollars. Two? Yeah, one for me, one for you. There's a lot of little old ladies out there. Step four, we hire the worst actors in New York and open on Broadway. And before you can say step five, we close on Broadway, take our two million, and go to Rio. Rio? No, I mean, that would never work. Oh, yeah, little thing. What did Lewis say to Clark when everything will be? What did Sir Edmund say to Tenzing as they struggled toward Everest Peak? What did Washington say to his troops as they crossed the Delaware? I'm sure you're well aware. What did they say? <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. We can do it, we can do it, we can make our dreams come true. Everything you've ever wanted is just waiting to be had. Beautiful girls wearing nothing but pearls, caressing you, undressing you, and driving you mad. We can do it, we can do it, this is not the time to Sure, we can do it. You won't brew it. Say goodbye to Penny Clerk. Hi, producer. Yes, producer. I need you, sir. Go berserk. We can do it. We can do it. And I know it's gonna work. We say, Bloom. What do I say? Finally a chance to be a Broadway producer. What do I say? Finally a chance to make my dreams come true, sir. What do I say? What do I say? Here's what I say to you, sir. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's not me. I'm a loser. I'm a coward. I'm a chicken, don't you see? When it comes to wooing women, there's a few things that I lack. Beautiful girls wearing nothing but pearls, chasing me and embracing me while I have an attack! Why, you miserable, cowardly, wretched little caterpillar! Don't you ever want to become a butterfly? Don't you want to spread your wings and flap your way to glory? We can do it. Mr. B. Alistair, we can do it. You've got me wrong. I'll say that. I'm not a strong prayer. Think we can do it. Mr. B. Alistair, we can do it. 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 We can Bloom. You're like 
like a fountain waiting to explode shoot up into the sky. I'm a fountain? Sure. Don't you see? There's a lot more to you than there is to you. <laughs> Mr. Bialystok, I'm afraid you've made a terrible error in judgment. You've mistaken me for someone with a spine. I'm going back to Whitehall and Marks. Goodbye forever. Oh, Bloom, wait. Just think about it. Bloom, please, just think. Oh, gee. Oh. Oh. Lord, I want that money. <laughs> <laughs>